Well, tonight there's a big question. What is the future of JEA going to look like? And it's a question even members of Jacksonville City Council are struggling to answer as a potential sale of the utility has gone from unthinkable to a clear possibility. The city could sell all of the company or maybe just a piece of it, but what we don't know for sure is when a final decision will come or how that's going to happen. Even today, the city council was looking for legal counsel to see their options. Nick Pro on your side tonight at City Hall. So Nick, what are council members telling you about the potential sale? Well, Anthony Jeannie, we can tell you that city council members argue that with recent JEA ads that give the impression that the sale of the utility is inevitable, they want to remind you at home that that is not the case. Everywhere I go, people are concerned, people are afraid um, of the sale of JEA because of things that they don't know. City council members like Al Ferrero are also looking for information. Today it was a small meeting, but members are now looking to bring in outside legal counsel that specializes in water and energy management. They're also looking to form a special city committee to focus solely on the future of JEA discussions. We did see 16 boxes today. We learned yesterday 16 companies are interested in bidding to purchase the utility. Some estimates say the sale could bring in between six and seven billion dollars for the city. I want to work together with all parties and try to come up with a solution that the public would, would like and enjoy. And I think that may or may not be the sale of JEA. I don't, I don't know what that is yet. City Council President Scott Wilson will be spending much of the next week looking over who could sit on that committee. Discussion members say would not just include the sale of JEA. Those in the room also talked about changing how JEA is managed rather than selling. Changing the structure of the board would require a referendum from the full city council. I suggested maybe five or six community meetings around the city so um, community members and city council members can participate and they can, they can learn how um, the citizens feel about it. And back out here live, it's unclear again when those public hearings would be set. That's still in discussion phase. Now, again, this is likely the first of very meetings throughout the city here. Again, that will likely end up in the hands of city council that would need two thirds, whenever they decide two thirds majority to pass. And then that ultimately will go down to the voters. We're in downtown tonight. Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.